Earlier, we reported on the sexual harassment cases in Hollywood. But tonight, the woman behind one of the most successful female-led startups says it's rampant in Silicon Valley, too. Only on 5, the CEO of Rent the Runway shared her story with our Betty Yu. Betty, what'd she say? Well, Veronica and Alan, she said that this harassment came in many forms, from text messages to being called a word I can't say on TV. Today, Rent the Runway is a popular rental and subscription service for dresses and other clothing. The CEO told me the path to building this company from the ground up meant navigating all sorts of challenges. Now that it's been close to eight years since we launched and nine years since uh, I originally had the idea. Jennifer Hyman's idea of an online business that rents designer gowns to women has turned into a nearly billion dollar business. She's raised $190 million from venture capitalists, more than any other female led startup in the country. This week, Rent the Runway expanded its services to appeal to more women who want to rent everyday clothes. Her success has put her on Forbes' list of the richest self made women to watch. But she says it didn't come without battling sexual harassment and gender discrimination in Silicon Valley. So there was an investor who sexually propositioned me, and when I rejected his advances, he went to my board of directors and claimed that I was being irresponsive and potentially was not a good CEO. That powerful investor was eliminated from Rent the Runway because Hyman says she had a supportive board and enough capital. But most women seeking funding in the early stages aren't as fortunate. Hyman says VC meetings by and large were productive, but she's had to deal with subtle, unconscious biases from men and women. We've definitely gone to investor meetings where people have told me general partners at firms have said, you know, this is this must be so fun for you. You get this all these pretty dresses that you get to wear and try on every day. Only 10 people work in the fashion department at Rent the Runway out of 1200 employees. Most are in engineering and logistics. It's dismissing us before you've even heard the vision before you've even understood what we do. It's thinking that Rent the Runway is small because we cater to women and small because we're in the business of fashion. Last year, the company crossed its $100 million revenue mark. Among the advice she's gotten throughout her career, act more ladylike. That's what this one, you know, woman who gave me that feedback was basically saying. She's like, you know, don't, we don't want to hear your opinions in a meeting. Just sit back and smile and look pretty. She didn't take that advice. There's just a pattern where people believe that male founders, they're given more benefit of the doubt. They're talked about more positively. They're lauded as being visionaries and geniuses, whether or not they're visionaries or geniuses. Hyman says it will take more diverse venture capitalists at the table to change the game and more successful women and minorities paying it forward. It's why she started Project Entrepreneur in partnership with UBS, a national initiative that helps female entrepreneurs access tools, training, and networks to build companies. What do you say to a lot of young aspiring entrepreneurs who are women um, dealing with this very male dominated workforce. To keep on chugging along, being ambitious, being aggressive, as Sheryl Sandberg says, leaning in. Hyman also stressed that sexual harassment or assault will get easier to stamp out as more women come forward. She says the harder issue to solve is gender discrimination because she says a lot of men and women don't realize that they are part of the problem. Betty Yu, KPIX 5.